What's up everyone, this is your boy here, the FKG401 here on uh, Monday night here. I'm sorry for the late uh, video here. I just had to do um, a prior YouTube video and got done with that. So I'm here doing this video here about the New York Yankees. And it was tonight in Florida. Yes, the offense once again. Was lifeless. What else is new with this team? Um, with the lifeless offense. And it looked like it was going to be another 3 nothing loss. Garrett Cole, solid outed. But then all of a sudden, a miracle comes in. Kyle uh, Hishioka steps it up. Hits a two-run home run. And then he hits another home run, carrying the Yankees to a victory, 3-1. to one, And Higgy, the Yankees' backup catcher, and I'm going to say it, the personal catcher for Garrett Cole, they actually made history tonight. The home run stoker, as I'm going to call him, he is so elite at hitting home runs that... This guy is making baseball history now. It's freaking... Um, I was looking at this on Stats by Stats on Twitter. He is the first catcher in Major League Baseball history to have three multi-homer games within his first dozen career homers. Okay. It's just awesome. And... The home run Stoker. That dude was a man possessed out there. In a lineup that spells Gary Sanchez, who, by the way, caught all three games at the Trop. Higgy, Guided Cole, Justin Wilson, Darren O'Day, and a Rolish Chapman to only allow just run run combined. I'm going to tell you what needs to keep happening here. You already know that. Higgy needs to catch Garrett Cole. Everything just works itself out when you have those two paired together. The catcher rakes and Cole cruises. Together, they might actually be the best pitcher-catcher duo right now in baseball. And that was a topic of discussion last season as the season progressed. And it's only going to continue now. Why mess up such a good thing? I understand Cole. He wasn't that sharp out there tonight. But let me tell y'all something. He retired 15 straight. He had 8 strikeouts. So you know what that means. The Cole train... Was chugging along. And then they ask Aaron Boone. After the game. If we're going to see these two in the future. But. I'm going to play this clip. Right now. And I hope y'all hear it. Aaron I know we've asked you about this a lot. And I could probably guess your answer. But does it make you think any harder about. Committing to Kyle and Cole. As a combo going forward full time. I mean, full time? I, no, I mean he's going to catch him a lot, and, and, and I, I like it because it usually lines up, and it kind of lines up with with wanting to give Gary a day. So, um, but but I also feel good about Gary catching them. You know, I, I thought they were really good together on opening day. Um, so there's going to be games where Gary catches them, but but you know, as the schedule unfolds, a lot of times it's going to work out that. It, it makes sense to get Higgy in there, and that's his day, and, you know, he can kind of game plan with them throughout the week and everything. So I certainly like the combination. I, I think you, you'll expect to see it a lot, um, but but Gary will get back there at some point too. All right. For me, when it matters the most, is Cole is pitching, you need to have Hishioka behind the plate. 
Don't get me wrong. I'm going to um, eat my crow here. And have my humble pie. Gary Sanchez has been excellent this year. I'll admit that. But he cannot catch every game. And if you're going to find a spot in there to spell him, why not make it Cole's turn consistent, consistently? I can't even say that word. Because I'm too excited. Seems almost too easy. But it must be nice for Kyle to hitch his rag wagon to Cole like this. Because that dude's got to roll on this team for the next decade. Excited for everyone to really upset about that headline? That's all I got to say on that. I'm out. The Brash and Brazen, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.